and welcome to another Automation Professionals programming tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my URT SI2 uh, module. Uh, any of you who have dealt with the Sumfi module knows that it's a very basic device with no feedback. It basically is just open, close, and stop. Uh, there is a little bit more functionality in this thing with 485 with increments, but I decided just to stick with RS-232 as I didn't see that being beneficial in any way. Um, so ba right here is the module here. You'll notice that it's almost identical to the normal Crestron shade driver with just the disable feedback on and the speed because obviously I have no real control of that. In the module itself, the only other thing you have to do is set the channel on which you program the shade to on the URTSI and the URTSI address, which I just made an analog string so you can feed it to um, all your modules instead of putting it in manual in each one. So I figured that was a little easier. Uh, and then obviously the TX signal to the um, RS-232 device. Uh, the open close time here is basically where all the magic is based off of. It is the time in which the shade takes from going from complete top uh, position of the shade to the absolute bottom. So it's using that time to calculate its current position. Uh, as, as you can probably tell, this is going to be all emulated, so uh, that's how it's kind of used to calculate a relatively accurate position. Uh, otherwise, the signals are exactly the same, and you can link it into whatever device driver you use. This is my uh, shade driver here. And the transport commands and I have it linked in it just like I would any other Crestron shade and uh, if you're however you program it will do it this is just my way of doing it um, so uh, moving on from here uh, here is the shade I don't have one physically here but it's not that it matters uh, on the left I put in the um, signals to watch in the simple debugger you'll see right now it's just closed with the position on zero if I hit open you'll see that it starts to open simulating the feedback and you can do stop uh, stop and when you uh, and you'll see here in the uh, TX signals here that uh, you'll see the signals going through for up close and stop so if I do lower you'll see it go down and then when I let go stop and same with raise up stop um, and obviously do an open, you can stop whenever you want, but those are the core commands that all this is based off of. Um, you'll see here that uh, there's the lowering signal, the raising signal, and all those uh, are fairly accurate. Here it's raising, it's not stopped, go to close, it is now low, not raising, it's lowering, where's lowering? There's lowering, it's high, hit stop, it's now stopped. Now the only thing is I'm using the um, shade object that you can't use set position. Uh, I really hope Crestron changes that, but uh, I prefer this one because of the uh, ability to set um, right and left drapes and whatever other ones. Plus the background's kind of cool to kind of change it throughout the day. The other one's a little more basic, but if you are using the other one, you can use the set position. Here I'll just kind of emulate it here. So right here we're near the bottom. I'm going to go to set position and let's just put in 4,500 or 45,000. Put that in and you'll see that it's starting to move. You see the up position there and then once it gets to pretty much that position, which it should be coming up soon, there it is. The stop command, it stops. Uh, it works pretty well. Um, that could prove to be semi inaccurate if the shade takes a little bit to ramp up or whatever the case is uh, when doing a whole bunch of mid positions but this is all simulated I can't make it a hundred percent but right now it seems to do uh, the trick I basically made this module because we sold a couple Sumfy shades to a client and they were happy that it was open close and stop and um, this obviously even though it's not a hundred percent accurate gives them a little more functionality uh, and it seems to be working quite well. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out my other tutorials that will be popping up over time as well as some other cool videos I'll be posting in the near future. If you are interested in licensing out my program and modules, contact me with the email address on the screen for information.